Hi everyone and welcome to this quick start guide on how to get started with the SkySieve Microsoft Teams app um, that's available uh, in the Microsoft Teams app store um, for you guys to use and, and collaborate with your models uh, and your other team members um, in an easy and clear way. Um, so it's quite simple to get started. Um, so all you have to do is search the app store uh, for SkySieve. Uh, you should see our app and you can add that to your team or channel or whatever you need to um, to start uh, collaborating on your models. Um, so in this case, we're going to work with a model uh, called 11 York Street. So um, I've already got a channel built for this, so I'm just going to set that up in that channel. And it's going to take me to that channel. Prompt me to log in, um, but if you're already logged in, it'll pick that up. And then you've got a list of all your models um, in all of your files. So you can uh, just quickly and easily just search there to find the model that you're looking for. Um, and load that in. So once you hit save, uh, that'll uh, extract that data from your um, cloud storage um, and uh, include a link here or a tab here in your Microsoft Teams environment um, to for in order for your team to review and uh, even open up the model um, in S3D. So this is the main interface. We've got the model here on the right um, with an interactive renderer so you can actually go through and uh, highlight and also look at um, all the various elements of your structure so you can see the most up-to-date uh, version of your model. But you've also got a clear uh, change log as, as well so you can see all the all the saves that we've done um, with any comments that have been included and uh, who, who saved that model or who's uh, edited that model. Um, so if you've got a team um, of engineers working on a single model you've got that real clean and clear history of what's changed in the model um, any issues if they're unresolved as well. Um, and so you've got that clear uh, insight into what's happened in the model, but you've also got um, the most up-to-date version here in the renderer. And you can uh, launch that version, um, or you can learn the launch it directly into the program, uh, so directly in S3D, uh, open up that model, review, make any changes um, that you wish to the, to the model itself. Um, so just as an example, I might... Uh, put in some bracing here on these members. So I'll just split them. And just connect these nodes. And then we'll just split, intersect those members as well. So if I, if I save that now, um, I'm prompted to, to add some sort of comment. So added bracing on Northern Wall. Um, I can also use the apps to add a detailed comment here as well if this is a very important um, part of the model or something I want someone to review. I can also add in, um, you know, please review this change if it's a significant change. Um, and once I can leave an optional comment as well. And that will go in as an unresolved comment too. So this is using our uh, detailed comments app which can be installed um, under your account settings. Uh, but I've added this new comment uh, at this point. Oh, sorry, it's at the top. Um, it's unresolved and so, you know, if my team loads, the, uh, loads this tab, you'll see that there's an unresolved issue there. So um, easy to uh, pass on different different um, comments or different actions that are required um, on the model. So you can also um, produce this as a PDF report as well. So uh, just by clicking that, I can get a PDF report. So a clear summary of, of all the changes that have happened, including the screenshots, um, and download that if I'm a product project manager or, or if I need to submit this to a client or something. Um, we can review the history of the model um, to, to review any changes made. Uh, so that's a bit, a little bit of an introduction to the Microsoft Teams app. Um, so you can install that now through uh, Microsoft Teams um, if you do use this as your communication or project management platform. Uh, look forward to your feedback and thoughts and uh, hope to see you um, on, the, on the, the app uh, soon. Thanks a lot.